Hey, I'm Kier, and this is that vlog thing that I'm doing. Finally the end of the week. It's been a heck of a week uh, coming off of uh, Halloween and everything like that, uh, where it was seasonal outside for those of us who are originally from the north. You know, October, November, temperatures of 40 and 50 degrees during the day at times. Today it was uh, almost 80 degrees. I'm not used to this warm weather. I've been down here for over 10 years now, and I still can't get over when it gets this warm, when it's supposed to be fall, when the leaves are changing colors. It, it just doesn't really work for me to have 80 degree days and to have 30 degree temperature spans during the day. Uh, earlier in the week, it was 40 degrees when I, when I left for work, and it was 70 degrees when I came home from work. That doesn't make for easy clothing choices. It also tends to make lots of people sick, I've noticed. Uh, so with all of the uh, weather doing weird things, with daylight savings time thrown in there, I know a lot of people who've gotten more than a little ill over the past week. Uh, and that seems to have carried over to technology somehow, because it's been a bad technology week also. Earlier in the week, I was going to have a uh, great video for you guys about uh, the, the Remix Mini that I got, and how awesome it works. Uh, unfortunately, my internet connection wasn't working, which made the whole thing, being that it downloads stuff from the internet and I was trying to play YouTube videos on it and everything to show what it can do, um, made it look absolutely horrible. But that was all because of my internet connection and a kind of sketchy uh, mouse I was using. Uh, so eventually I will have that video for you once I have all of my uh, setup for it squared away. Don't want to give you the wrong idea about the product. Uh, and at work, I've been fighting with websites all week, things behaving in odd ways, uh, and uh, I have some other friends that have been having tech problems too. Some friends of mine that got uh, married not too terribly long ago seem to have run into a problem with all of the, almost all of the wedding pictures their photographer took. Uh, people, software breaking on them, and it's just been a really crazy week all around and that's frustrating and that's annoying but there's a lot of good stuff also especially today today uh, we got the trailer for the uh, upcoming world of warcraft movie now i'm not a huge warcraft fan i, I played the original warcraft and, and a bit of warcraft 2 slightly more of a starcraft fan i played about a month on World of Warcraft uh, before I decided it really wasn't for me. Uh, but the, uh, the movie, this trailer, this trailer is fantastic. It's at least on par with, uh, you know, what the Star Wars fans are seeing for the new Star Wars movie coming out. It looks awesome. It looks like it does the franchise justice. And that's really good stuff to see, and it wouldn't be possible without the crazy technology that we have today. And I absolutely love that. I love that we can make these things real, you know, turn them into movies, take them from our small screens and put them into the uh, movie screens and do real stories with deep characters and stuff that should make anyone who's ever turned their nose up at any genre, especially sci-fi or fantasy, uh, should make people like that uh, step back and take a little bit of notice and uh, realize that the trappings of a story don't reduce its value. The trappings of a story, which is what genre is, genre is trappings. The story can be the same core, no matter how it's dressed up. We've been doing that for years, for decades, for possibly centuries. If you go back and you look at different plays, you see all the same themes that run through them. 
and they're just dressed in different costumes. Well, in this World of Warcraft trailer, we have a fantastic set of uh, possible storylines going on, and if they're drawing from the uh, from the old World of Warcraft lore, uh, we've got orcs and humans meeting for the first time and trying to figure out if they can live together or if they just have to kill each other in order to survive. Uh, and and it's that's a classic conflict story. And in uh, the Star Wars, The Force Awakens, we we've got you know characters from different backgrounds coming together. We've got a crisis of faith going on for at least one of them. Uh, who was raised a stormtrooper and has now discovered that there's more to life than just that. Uh, people discovering that, that the myths they grew up with may actually be true. Uh, and these trappings, these sci-fi and fantasy trappings on these very stolid stories uh, are done so well because we can. A and... It's a wonderful, wonderful time to be uh, a fan of these things and to be able to have such easy access to it and to see it done so well uh, and on such a large scale uh, that, that I wouldn't trade it for anything. So, in, uh, in the interest of uh, getting on with the weekend, uh, tell me what movies are you most excited about uh, coming up? Are you uh, more of a Star Wars fan, more of a World of Warcraft fan? Maybe looking forward to that Harry Potter movie that's a little off in the distance? Uh, what genre really does it for you? And if you don't think genre films are worthwhile, tell me why. I'm very curious, because I've heard very few good answers to that. Uh, so if uh, you leave a comment, we can get into that discussion. If you like anything I've said here, give me a thumbs up uh, down in the uh, video uh, options there. If uh, you aren't subscribed, you should subscribe so you can get notified uh, as I put these out. We've still got a bunch of daily ones coming out uh, right through the end of the year. And if there's anyone else out there who you think might be interested in this, uh, feel free to pass this on to them, get them involved in the conversation here. I'm Kier. That's it for today. Hopefully technology won't continue to conspire against me. I've got a lot of stuff to do this weekend. Uh, I guess I'll see you tomorrow.